Right, well, we are going to be bringing you some pictures of Queen Camilla, who's been at service at Worcester Cathedral. <laughs> shaking hands with members of the public, I believe. Indeed, and this is, of course, the uh, Maundy Thursday service that happens every year. The King could not attend this year due to his treatments, ongoing treatments, after that cancer diagnosis. So the Queen there representing not just herself, but the wider royal family too at this service that uh, the King had sent his apologies for and it seemed he was uh, sad to miss. She really has proven herself to be particularly stoic in the mm. face of everything that's going on health-wise within the royal family with Princess Catherine unwell, with of course her husband King Charles unwell mm. too. And uh, this is her after the religious service at Worcester Cathedral today. Mm. Meeting and greeting, doing her duties, going about everything as normal, but as Tom says, representing the royal family. Yes, and this is of course a slimmed down senior royal family, far slimmer than the original plans for a slim down royal family. Two senior royals out of action, both undergoing treatment for cancer. Uh, and it is actually quite interesting to see how both Camilla and William have stepped up and really been, been carrying out far more uh, duties and, and, and far larger of a role than they had previously done and than they had thought that they would be doing. And I wonder if it has brought Camilla and William closer together, these two people who now seem to be spearheading the royal family in all that they do. And in this absolutely beautiful cathedral, Worcester Cathedral. Have yes. you ever been there? I haven't, actually. It's, it's stunningly, stunningly beautiful. And King Charles has, because he can't be there today, um, he has released a special video message ahead of the service uh, this morning. Um, I believe we're going to speak to Cameron Walker, our royal correspondent, who is standing by for us. Um, Cameron, we were just uh, looking at those uh, pictures there of Queen Camilla um, alone, pictured alone, of course, King Charles being unwell with his cancer diagnosis. Tell us about what's happened today with this service and how, the, how King, uh, Queen Camilla is representing the royal family today. Yeah, I mean, it's been a very poignant uh, service and morning and afternoon here uh, in Worcester, Emily. The Queen, of course, as you say, is alone. His Majesty the King was clearly originally meant to be here instead. Uh, but he did record an audio message at Buckingham Palace a few weeks ago, which has been played out inside Worcester Cathedral during this Maundy Thursday service. And I suppose the highlights of his speech was reaffirming his coronation pledge, which was not to be served but to serve with his whole heart. Uh, he also praised the British public, extending the hands of friendship in, the, in people's times of need, perhaps a reference there to His Majesty the King, who is, of course, undergoing cancer treatments, as well as the Princess of Wales, also undergoing cancer treatments. Although there was no absolute direct reference to that in his speech, it was solely grounded in religion, because the King started his uh, message by doing a read, reading from the Bible, the Gospel of John, which was talking about Jesus washing the feet of his disciples, which is, is, of course, the origin of Maundy Thursday, the day before Good Friday, where he was crucified. Um, the Queen was wearing a leopard print chiffon dress and cream cashmere coats by Fiona Clare and golden sapphire flower brooches, which used to belong to Queen Elizabeth II. Um, I believe you're still on live pictures of the entrance of Worcester Cathedral. Uh, Her Majesty is expected to exit the building shortly, uh, where she will greet uh, uh, members. We have just been following that and the Queen has now moved on uh, moments ago from the, uh, from the entrance to the cathedral. Uh, so we, we are now uh, looking at you and hearing the bells in the background and seeing sort of the aftermath of her exit. Ah, I see. Thank you very much, Tom. Well, the Queen inside the uh, cathedral had obviously did something which the king would usually do, and that is distribute that Maundy money to 75 men, 75 women, uh, each receiving a red and white purse containing commemorative uh, coins. I do believe, although unfortunately I don't think we've got a shot to show you, we'll try and get some footage up on social media, but Her Majesty the Queen, I believe, 
might be going to greet members of the public who have gathered. So there's a huge crash barrier here uh, with, I reckon, at least 200 people, members of the public uh, who have been here, brave the elements in the rain to try and, of course, greet them. But those commemorative coins, the royal family have been taking part in these Maundy services every year dating back hundreds and hundreds of years. There's reference to it in the Scottish monarchy in the 1500s. I believe the earliest reference to it on the royal family's website dates back to the uh, 1200s. The last time that Worcester Cathedral hosted the Maundy service was in 1980. The last major royal visit by a member of the royal family to the city of Worcester was during the Queen's Diamond Jubilee back in 2012. That was when Queen Elizabeth II and uh, Prince Philip, Duke of Edinburgh, attended a cathedral service here as well as the Guild Hall and carried out a number of events uh, along uh, inside the city. Uh, as I said, the Queen has not let yet left the city, although, she, as you said, Tom, she has exited the cathedral. The crowd is still there. I can't quite see from where I am. Yes, Cameron, uh, Cameron. I believe there we was saw, some vague plan. If the, Cameron, yeah. we, saw, we saw the Queen exiting, leaving the service at the cathedral. We did have a picture of that. We saw the Queen uh, shaking hands with members of the public and greeting them as she exited and walked slowly down the steps out of the cathedral um, there. So lots of people waiting around to see her, lots of people who had been at the service, then moving outside, congregating outside um, to greet Queen Camilla. Absolutely. And of course, as I said, it was originally going to be His Majesty the King accompanying Queen Camilla, um, but we will have a chance to see the King take part in some Easter celebrations because Buckingham Palace has confirmed that both he and Queen Camilla will be at the Easter Sunday service at St George's Chapel in Windsor. It's going to be a scaled back service, I'm told by royal sources. That is due to the King's ongoing cancer treatment and doctors advice that he should not be around too many crowds, which is why mm. the King could not be here in Worcester Cathedral today. Of course, the congregation would have been probably well over uh, a thousand people, but the Queen, Queen very much holding the fort here. The Prince and Princess of Wales, understandably, are taking time out from royal duties to look after their children in the wake of the Princess of Wales's cancer diagnosis, so they're not expected to be at the Easter Sunday service in St George's Chapel in Windsor, but other members of the royal family are expected to attend. But as for here in Worcester, it is just the Queen who is here. But the crowds, and from speaking to people earlier today, they were very, very excited to be here and to see a member yes. of the senior royal family uh, uh, as well. She has huge support, that's mm. for sure. Thank you very much indeed, Cameron Walker, our royal correspondent.